Hi guys, Retro Tango here. I'm gonna make a short video where I take this Amiga 2000 live and I'm gonna upload it so you can watch it later. I'm not gonna delete this one, so I didn't want to, you know, pronounce everything happens half hour from now and stuff like that, guys. This is just, I'm just gonna record it live and if you want to write something, it's all right, but if not, just let's just check this Amiga 2000 together. I just bought it. I just got it home. Condition should be dead, but let's just all together take a look at this one. And, I don't know, open it and uh, see if the battery is inside. The seller told me it, it probably is because when I asked him about the battery, he was like, is there a battery inside an Amiga? <laughs> so, yeah, it's gonna be a fun one, <laughs> I think. So let's just go ahead and open this one. I mean, the case is, uh, it's, it's not in the best condition, guys, but still, it's an Amiga, all right? Uh, you guys, yo, hello, hello. I can see some of you guys are already, here, can one of you tell me if the volume is too high, too low? Can you hear my voice? If some of you can uh, just write it to me, then I will be really, really happy. Good evening from Australia. Hello, hello. How are you, Matt? <laughs> hello. <laughs> okay, this is a, uh, it's not in the best condition. Oh my goodness. Now, the Sevilla 2000 has been on storage for many years, guys. Many, many years. So, yeah, I mean, look at this. <laughs> so, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna have some love, some retro Django love. I just wanna remove the worst before I power it on. Oh my goodness. It, it doesn't look that good. Volume is great from Texas. Oh my goodness, from Texas. Hello, my dear friend. Wow, man, from the other side. It's just great. I'm just gonna do the other side. Just hurry up, guys, because we're gonna open this one. We're gonna take a look at the Vata destruction inside because I'm really curious about <laughs> the condition of the battery. So. Should be it. And the front side over here. We have some we have something. Something that looks like paint. But it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be cleaned up. It's gonna be in real nice condition. But then let's just go ahead and open this one together, guys, and see how it looks. I mean, I'm just anxious to see the battery inside. Because I don't want to turn it on like this. And he told me that it didn't work. So, yeah, it is what it is, guys. 30 years old. <laughs> A battery like this. This is from an Amiga 500 Plus. And uh, this one actually didn't destroy my Amiga 500 Plus. So, yeah. I was lucky with that one, so let's just see how this one looks. There we go. There's also a screw on the back side. has a card here that's nice all right everything is just unscrewed <laughs> beautiful i will remove these screws also and that's because we're gonna take off this big plate that holds the psu together and this drive because we have to look under that 
to see the condition of the battery. So I, I really hope the battery is removed, but I don't think so, guys. I don't think so. All right. I think after after a clean up it will it will be nice. All right, I'm gonna move the camera just a bit so you can enjoy this together with me. Guys. There we go. <laughs> first thing first, we have a cart up here. Should I get the camera just a bit higher? Up? I hope it's okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's um, let's look at this. It has a hard disk controller. This guy's your hard disk. Yes, it is. And we have some RAM here. It looks like two megabytes of RAM, and I don't know the size of the hard disk. I don't know what that is, but we could actually just, for the sake of it, can I see this on the camera where it's located? It says LED. All right, let's just take this these two cards out so we can see what they contain. All right, first card. Just 30 years old man. <laughs> oh, it's stuck man. What the hell? Usually I just release this pin and just give it some space. But I mean it has been like this for so many years. So oh, there we go. Something happened. Okay. The first card here. It's a... Does it say on something here? No. I mean, my knowledge about this is just, uh, yeah. I can't see it. Oh, here. Great Valley Products. It's a card called A2000 HC Plus 8 Series 2 Revision 5. GVP Products. I absolutely love them i love them this is oh it also says here gvp this is the original hard disk from back then quantum oh my goodness this card is something i really really like guys perfect so we have a hard disk that's nice let's just check out the next card also because I'm not gonna give this power with the cards on. Okay. Oh, that was wrong. <laughs> it should be this one. this guys dual serial board from 89 <laughs> yeah pretty useless for me two serial ports yay <laughs> yeah it is what it is it's included it's nice oh we got a lot of dirt okay next part the PSU we're gonna remove the PSU uh, cables going down to the monoboard because I'm going to remove this one. Um, let's see if let's see if uh, if I turn some 
turn on the D light here. Two seconds, guys. I, I, will, I will try to make it a bit lighter for you because I don't know if it's too dark. I don't hope so. And let's give it some power. There we go. Okay. Red. Is this better? Green. Does it help or should I just turn it off again? Blue. Should I turn it off, guys? The LED light? Just yellow like this? Is it okay? I hope it's, it's okay. If it irritates you, just ride it and I will remove it. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Let's unplug. Oh my goodness. I love these uncharged Amigas for so many, many years. Um, okay, let's see here, we have a screw here, we should have one over here, and the last one over here. Thank you guys and what it says light is good all right all right thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> now this live thing it's not something i usually do don't throw out the serial cards it's useful all right <laughs> for what <laughs> for what let me know i'm not gonna throw any amiga stuff out no way <laughs> all right I can't, I can't uh, look uh, and see what you guys are writing, so if I don't answer, sorry guys, <laughs> but I, I'm trying to look at what's going on, what you guys are writing. Okay, moment of truth, man, Vata. Oh my goodness. We're gonna take off this. Oh man, everything's just, it feels like everything's just glued on there. All right, so. It should be possible to just remove this one. Look at the dirt and dust in there. Oh my goodness. I can't see anything. It's just dust. <laughs> so the story about these Amigas. Now, they were used for um, adult phone lines. They were... Uh, People could call back in the 90s and you know talk with ladies and this Amiga 2000 was controlling that <laughs> okay guys we're gonna check out so there are maybe some dirty stuff on the hard disk <laughs> I don't know oh my god look at this dust I can't see anything man all right the battery I'm gonna take a closer look now guys Bear with me. Hmm. <laughs> well, you know what? Wow. Oh, wow. Wait. It's just... This is anti-static, oh, what's it called? Look at the dust down here, you can't see it, but it's really, really dirty. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have never ever seen nothing like this before this water battery has not leaked at all nothing wow nothing not even on the legs guys this is just 
I think this is the cleanest vacha vice <laughs> looking Amiga 2000 I have ever seen. Oh my goodness. Again, anti static, so I'm not afraid that uh, it will fry the RAM. Oh my goodness. It's revision 6, <laughs> it's readable now, beautiful, but uh, oh my goodness, the fat Agnes is AD372A, 1 megabyte. Oh, beautiful, Denise is from, it's from 4th week of 1991, alright, so it's not an 88 machine, it's from the 90s. And one, but that's nice. I'll check something clean again. And just remove the dust over here, guys. Let's check out Gary. Beautiful. Fourth week of 91. And of course, Paula over here. Eighth week of 91. All right. And the CIA chips over here. Let's see. 891, 891. All right. So this is an early 91 produced Amiga. That's nice. All right. The condition of the battery and the, the battery and the area is like brand freaking new, guys. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Now I could I could just cut it, but I'm not gonna cut it. I'm gonna take off this whole motherboard and I'm gonna unsolder it because I wanna take a look at the bottom side. But I mean, usually they they have some you know some green blue green stuff on the legs here, but they look incredible it's just incredible i can't explain how happy i am right now this is just i have no trouble powering this one on now before we do that let's just give these parts just a little push i will be so happy if this one just works i mean Beside the dust, I hope it's okay. All right, <laughs> it looks nice, guys. I am I am impressed about the condition of this, uh, about the water condition, or what you have to call it. Uh, of course, it's dusty. I um, I don't think I want to use the power supply that's included, so you have to wait one minute. I will get another power supply. Just wait one minute, guys. I can see 17 guys is viewing. Nice. Thank you, guys. Just wait 30 seconds. <laughs> And I'm back with another fully working tested power supply. I'm not gonna give it power with that included power supply. Not before I have, you know, checked it or recapped it. You know, you know how it goes, how it is, guys. So let's just um, let's put that power supply on the, the one that I know is fully, fully working. I'm not gonna risk anything. And of course not when the battery looks like this it's i am so surprised i just you know i, I just took the chance i just i bought it untested nothing you know so you don't need that big metal part you can just well, this one as i said earlier it's working i used it two days ago so it's in really, really nice condition, this PSU, original Amiga 2000 PSU. So let's just go ahead and install that one. 
because uh, I think it's okay to give this one some power. I mean, look at that Vata situation. Isn't that just great? <laughs> okay, these two screws should do it. All right, guys, let's just... Um, there's the camera. The camera is all right. Let's give it... Put on the connector down here. Yes. And I'm gonna make another video on YouTube so you can see um, the original PSU and all that. Of course, of course, of course. We're gonna do that. Now, oh my goodness, look at these. Okay, first of all, when we power something like this on, we're just gonna take everything off. <laughs> everything should be off, and um, just the uh, 68,000 CPU and the one megabyte RAM. That's it, guys. We don't need anything else. We're just gonna put in the um, DGA con uh, RGB connector here, and on the Mega 2000 is down here at the corner. And audio cables are this Amiga does really need some cleaning. <laughs> Let me see, it's off. There we go. Alright. It should be ready to be powered on now. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and Get ready over here. All right, three, two, one. Can you see the motherboard? If we are getting some sparks, I don't hope so. It looks nice. It looks all right. Are we ready, guys? Should we turn it on, or am I missing something? Please write to me <laughs> if I'm missing something, because I think I'm just gonna give it some power now and see what's gonna happen, guys. I'm gonna wait 10 seconds. If you guys write, check this and I will do that. 10 seconds, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Give it power. All right. <laughs> we're having a go from the United States of America. Go again. Okay, we're just gonna. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna power it on. All right, guys. <laughs> Three, two, one. Come on, please. White screen. <gasps> we have got a picture. Isn't this just beautiful? I mean, oh my goodness, it looks really nice. Of course, we have to check the sound and, and stuff like that, but yeah, woohoo! <laughs> it's really really nice man wow this is just beautiful all right next step I could put in you know go check drive load something it is 1.3 we could check the sound and stuff like that but you know what I want to try just need to wire up the floppy drive yes yes of course of course um, I think it will be much more fun if we did something else. Not the floppy drive, but, 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 but this mother. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and install this. I mean, the hard disk, I, I don't think it works, but if it works, wouldn't it just be great? Come on, guys. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So let's install this beautiful product from GBP and uh, see if it will improve. Okay, we, I mean, the PSU that was included, it can be that it's dead. We don't know that yet. So uh, it is what it is, guys, but it's dirty. 
this Anika needs really some love. And we love to give love to our Amigas. Don't you agree? Oh man, this connector is just so dirty. I would be surprised if this worked because the Zorro slots are just, they look like this, <laughs> filled with dirt, but it's not a good idea, I know it, but I just want to try it, guys. I just want to, I just want to try it, okay? And I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to blow air because then I have dust everywhere in my game room and that's not a good idea. So I'm just going to try this one out. If it works, we're happy. If not, then we just need to clean up and give it some love. But the Amiga, it has got, I mean, zero water damage. Looks perfect. Really. Oh, all right. Revision 6.2. Nice. Okay. Now, you guys think you don't have to screw it on. It's all right, but I'm just, I like to do it. So uh, bear with me, two seconds guys. All right, there we go. And you know what, I'm gonna install this one, the LED light also, because I like that stuff. There we go. So, three, two, one. We're gonna give it some power. We're gonna see what's gonna happen now. I hope, I hope that it spins. Let's give it a go. The hard disk does not spin. The LED is lit. Now, the hard drive, it doesn't spin up. Um, maybe it's dead or maybe the connector doesn't give 5 and 12 volt the pro proper way because it's really, really dirt down there. So I think we should just turn it off, take it out and put it in again and just give it a go. Oh, as you can see, white screen, man, everything is just stuck. It can also, it can also be a dead card. It can also be dead RAM that, I don't know. The power and the hard disk LED is just spot on. Can you see it on the camera? Yeah, at the corner down there. They're just both on, guys. So uh, what to do, what to do? Take it off and just take a quick look and install it again, right? Uh, it could just be great if it just boosted up, but uh, can't be that easy. <laughs> You know, power from the Amiga anywhere? Oh, wait. Is this power over here, guys? Nothing was connected, so I... Hmm. RAM, the jumper is on J6. And J6 means what? 2 megabyte? I hope so. But you know what, guys? As, as you can see, Power here. I have absolutely no idea if I should install a power cable here. I'm not gonna just do, if one of you guys know this product, should I install a power cable here? You can see five power plus 12, just like this. It, it feels like it takes power from here. I'm not sure guys. This makes the whole system just luck. So I'm gonna do something else. If some of you guys know this GVP product, please let me know if it should have power up there. I'm just gonna clean this just the simplest way I can. guys the third one so not the one it came with but let's just give it a go 
I mean the whole system just locks up it won't boot the hard disk won't spin so we can have a dead card not sure but let's just do it one more time and if it doesn't work then we will call it a day because then I will start disassembling everything clean this one up Is it in yet? I'm not sure. No. Come on, man. Yeah, it is. I think. Hmm. Yeah, it's all right. I think it's all right like this. Okay. Let's put in the LED again. I love that. I'm just a bit concerned about this. Um, don't know if it, if it should have you know power from uh, the hard disk uh, connected here or not. And I don't, I don't want to destroy anything, so I'm not gonna do it. But because it can, it can have power down from from here, guys, from the Zorro slot. So no, I'm I'm gonna leave that. Must. Uh, you know get the manual and and uh, be sure before I give it power that way I'm just gonna leave it as it is and give it some power again can you see the LEDs from there yes you can all right it doesn't spin oh it said something feels like it wants to spin you know it just says uh, this little uh, sound and it just hangs <laughs> as you can see the power is the green one and the yellow LED is for the hard disk activity sometimes you can get it but um, nah should I give it some power over here guys if anyone knows something like that GVP if you have the same controller card, please let me know if it should have it should, uh, power from this yellow plug. But it feels like every time I put this one on, it just goes dead. Oh, I... Oh, the last message, I couldn't read it. Can you resend that message? I... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I have five seconds. Maybe connect the power to the hard disk directly from the power supply. Oh, that's a great idea. All right, I will try to do that. All right. Oh, <laughs> that's not easy. Could be fun to see what's included this one. Oh my god, it feels like it's just glued in there. <laughs> no, I'm just not strong enough for this. Um need some help. Two second guys. Alright, alright. There we go. Alright. This one is um, the ribbon cables is it's all right. I don't think this one needs to have you know power because these two looks identical. So maybe this is for another type of drive that has got you know power from up here. Um, so we're gonna give it directly. A good idea. I hope it changes something. Oh no, <laughs> it's not possible, <laughs> it's not physically possible. Uh, and I had to pull out the screws. Uh, 
No guys, that's not possible. Sorry to say that. Ah, look at this, this is just half size. That's why. Okay, let's just put this one in again. Cables are looking real nice. Goodness, you have to have really small hands to do this. There we go. I could also measure if it gets 5 and 12 volt. Maybe pull out the hard disk from the... Yeah, and it disappeared. Lovely. I can't, <laughs> I can't read it. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, last try guys. Let's give it a go. It could just be fun to see what's inside this drive. But the other thing is I could just pull off these four screws, take off the drive and take power from there. Should I do that? No, I can't. I it can be reattached the proper way again, so I'm not going to do that right now while I'm making a, a live video, guys. So let's just try this one. Oh, maybe the controller here. It can be the IC down here that controls the uh, Zorro slots. I think, feel, I think this IC is the only difference from the Mega 500 to this one. It's got this extra and the Zorro slots and the Vata battery. But, I mean, no damage from Vata, it's, I am just so happy about it, I can't explain. Usually when I buy one of these Amiga 2000s, they're just destroyed by the Vata, alright? I really don't like this. Something hits it or something like that. Go. Give a firm push. Oh, it sits perfect. Don't even need to screw. <laughs> there we go. Okay, guys, last try if the hard disk works. If not, I am still really, really happy with this purchase because, I mean, under the dust looks amazing. I mean, really, it's really a keeper, keeper Amiga. <laughs> okay. Oh, did you hear that? It made that knocking sound and then it gets stuck. Yeah, Phil, we hope, but uh, it's stuck again and as you can see, the uh, LED is stuck. Now, what does this mean? Now. If the hard, hard disk was um, hard drive is probably seized. I, I tried to knock. I mean, how hard should I hit it, man? I mean, like like this. That should be it, right? Because sometimes they get stuck. Tap the drive. Yeah, I just did that, but with the power off. Did you hear that? Uh, it, it, there again, it really wants to read it, but it just gets stuck. Yeah, but if the hard disk is dead, should it just stop the system from booting? Booting up, as you can see, we just have a white screen. Shouldn't it just boot up? Just ignore the hard disk? Yeah, it could be dry. It's trying so hard. Yes, swap out the drives. Swap out the drives. You mean put in another hard disk? Yeah. Yeah, Mike, I also think that the hard disk is dead. All right, so I can try with a uh, go check drive because I want I want to check the sound, of course. Um, uh, 
The thing I want to do actually is just unplug the hard disk. Just unplug it and see if it will boot with this card installed. Because, okay, dead hard disk, it is 35 years old, fully respect for that. But it could still be super nice to have one megabyte chip RAM and use these two megabyte fast RAM. I mean, it's easy to get some more RAM here, another hard disk, or a SCSI to IDE connector or SCSI to SD. We have some different options. <laughs> This is off and power here. All right. So the ribbon and the power for the hard disk is off. Now I really, really hope that we will get a picture. It's so important for me because then I know that this GVP card is fully working. If not, then you can actually pull out these ICs and clean the legs and reseat them because you just saw how much dust it had inside. So. I'm just gonna try to boot it without the hard disk and I really really hope that we're gonna get a picture with the known you know once I got a hard drive to spin by putting it in a freezer <laughs> in a freezer I, I'm so sorry I can't read what you're writing because it just goes so fast oh this is not nice this means my GVP card locks the Amiga. It won't boot with it. Damn. It can also be, you know, really, really dirty sorrow slots because it should boot up by now. It should boot up by now, guys. Damn. Did it get the Kickstarter screen without the card? Yes. What the hell? Look at this guys. It booted. But it took really really long time. Maybe that's how it should be. Maybe it's because you know. The card is installed. And it's looking for a hard disk. But it could be fun. To, to just let it be like this. It feel, yeah, yeah Phil. I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're right. It's it, 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 it looks like just a dead hard disk. Okay, yeah, it can be a long time sometimes. Okay, okay, beautiful. This is just a dead hard disk. No problems, no issue with that. Uh, wait 30 seconds. I will just take a look and see if I have another SCSI hard disk. 30 seconds, guys, and I'll be back. <laughs> Great, great news, great, great news. Look at this, Max to hard disk. <laughs> Let's try to see if, I mean, uh, all right, we, the Amiga works, but it, it could just be so nice if we had, if this also worked, I, it would mean so much for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, and just take the card out. Okay, the first thing, we're gonna remove the card. And we're going to install a good check card first. Yeah. First, off you go. <laughs> I have high hopes for this card. <laughs> All right. So, the go check drive. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I just want to check the sound. You know, you know, it's just, I hope that it works. Oh, I don't remember which way to turn the ribbon cable. I'm just gonna take the chance. 50% chance to get it right. And if I turn the ribbon cable the wrong way, nothing will happen. But if I turn the power the wrong way, I will fry this beautiful Gojek drive. So, okay, so this should be the right way, right guys? Can you see over here the go check? Yes, you can. 
Squash Puppy, Indiana Jones. Oh! Aber trotzdem ist weit. Okay. Come on, man. Please, work. <laughs> It's all plastic, so it is safe to just put it down there. And it loads, guys. Okay. That's beautiful. Let's just let it load. Let's just let it load. We're gonna take off this hard disk, okay? While it loads, this beautiful Mega 2000. Let's just pull out that one. guys so insert this too that was this too how about the volume is it too high yeah, it's okay and the last one we're gonna try the other hard disk and I hope that uh, it will boot that way so this one is a oh man look at these marks oh it's just dust I thought it was you know marks from really hot ICs but um, we have sound ah oh, nice isn't that just beautiful that's just heat and dust yes Mike Guys, we have sound. Come on. <laughs> perfect picture, perfect sound. No water battery damage. I mean, I am so happy. And I really hope that you share my happiness, guys, because this is just, this is beautiful stuff. Yeah, where's what? Do you remember this game? Those late nights? Oh, our childhood, man. Our childhood. <laughs> I have to behold you. Oh, this is great. Okay, so this one is off. I mean, as I can see, the only thing I actually can do is just test to uh, check out the RAM and put them again. And uh, what's this? Just the controller version 3.07-ECD9. Even 256. I mean, if you love Amiga, great value products. Mike, oh, I didn't read what you said. If you remove the RAM, what? If you remove the RAM, then what? It's just so sad that, that the text just goes away in a flash over here, guys. I'm so sorry about that. I've got the same, yeah, it, okay, it goes away over there, okay, okay. Oh, 27 is watching with us? Wow! Are you gonna test the terrible fire and it went away? <laughs> okay, first of all, now I can't read what you're writing, sorry guys, you can write with each other. I wanna test one thing first. Oh man. Come on. <laughs> it feels like everything's just glued, man. Ah, there we go. And the power here. There we go. I just want to put this one, just connect it directly from the. Um, from the PSU and give it 5 and 12 volts and ground ground in the middle and and just see uh, oh I need your help 
I, 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 this game, guys, I mean, the music, the atmosphere, it, everything is just, wish what they were just, they were incredible back then. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna connect this. And see what's gonna happen, okay? Just for the fun of it, let's give it power directly from the CPU. There we go. And just turn it on. Now we'll let's see if it spins this way. Oh, this drive is dead. It said. <clears throat> Did you hear it? I will take it a tad closer to you. Now, listen. Yeah. It feels like the head tries to turn and it just hits an obstacle. <laughs> so that one is dead. Now, the next thing we're going to do is actually, um, we're going to install the other hard disk this one over here in this GBP card and see what's gonna happen because I mean if it works I would be so much happier than I am already <laughs> and I am a really happy guy guys okay so um, this one goes there when Han says to Chewie this one goes there and that one goes there okay there we go. And I hope the mountain holes are about the same place. Oh. Oh, the cables are reversed now. Damn. There we go. And. really don't like to bend the hard disk cable like that. Now I have to do it the other way guys. Uh, really don't like to bend the hard disk cable but uh, I don't want it to break. It is 30 years old you know. <laughs> so let's just put in two screws. I just hope that this controller card works. I mean, an Amiga 2000 without a hard disk, it's it's sad. I mean, and these Amiga 2000s, they don't have um, onboard controllers like, you know, on the Amiga 3000 or the Amiga 4000. So these Amiga 2000s, they need a card like this. Mm. But still, I mean, back then, we all wanted an Amiga uh, 2000. We looked at it in, in the magazines, I remember it was just such a nice computer. Okay, now we will give it some power down here. <laughs> I actually don't know if this hard disk works, but... <laughs> but uh, it has been inspected and it has passed. Passed B by Maxter for 35 years ago. How many megabyte? I mean, the writing is just gone. It's a model 7080 SR. Yeah, a couple of years old. <laughs> I'm gonna use um, port three again. Oh. Okay, and just. Give it a firm push. I, I just want to make sure that everything is all right before I press it down like that. No, that's not. There we go. Okay. Now I can give it a firm push like this. There we go. Now it's installed. Let's go ahead. Some of you guys are thinking, man, remove that water battery. But I'm telling you, this battery looks like brand, brand, brand new. It looks perfect. 
Okay, so this is down. Ribbon, ribbon, power, power. Let's just remove this. Okay. We're gonna turn it on. Am I missing something? I don't hope so. We're gonna give it some power, guys. Okay, three, two, one, go. Can you hear the heart disk spinning? <laughs> Can you hear the max heart disk? It spins, but uh, yeah, all right, nice feel. It spins, but um, as you can see, I inserted this LED and we have, oh, we have some LED, small LED action. Not, I don't know if it reads, but there we go. Can you see that light? No, you can't. Now you can. <laughs> Okay, it spins this hard disk, but as you can see, it's just stuck. But again, it's another, you know, 35 years hard disk. So, what I want to do is actually, I want to turn it off. Did you hear that? I want to put this one in, and I'm going to find workbench. Workbench. There we go. Okay. We have workbench installed here. Um, workbench installer. <laughs> yeah, you want to check the hard disk, right, Phil? <laughs> now we're gonna. Um, the last time it need to have some time for uh, you know to boot. Let's just give it, you know, one min minute or so. If it doesn't work this way, as you can see, it just lit up. So we're just gonna wait. Um, and I just hope that it will, uh, what's it called? That it will just get past this part and then um, take on the go check drive, load up workbench. And in Workbench, I just want to see if it detects the 2 megabytes of RAM, at least. That could be great, guys. <laughs> Last test. Now, let's just wait. I don't know how long did to wait. Not going to be able to install much without the keyboard. I have also got the keyboard. <laughs> uh, I, don't know, I don't know if the keyboard works, but it was included in this purchase. But guys, it feels like... It feels like we're just stuck. <laughs> Spinning discs are slow to start, yeah. Yeah, I just, I also have a mouse. The mouse is installed. The mouse is installed. And I also got a um, Commodore 1084S-PD 14-inch CRT monitor with this purchase. Beautiful. It's just great. But guys, it's um, it's just stuck. Nothing happens. So this means that GVP card it it needs some love. It did take a minute or two to start up when the hot yeah yeah but um didn't we wait two minutes now or what yeah i mean the hard disk spins now so it, it gets power but maybe it's it's also dead Yeah, okay. It's dead, guys. So, 
Oh, I know what the problem is. <laughs> Look at this. It's destroyed, man. It's the ribbon cable. <laughs> it's a dead ribbon cable. As I said, it felt like it was glued on and I tried to pull it out. Now I'm just gonna turn it on with the Gojek drive only and we're just gonna wait about two minutes. The power for the hard disk is off. The ribbon cable for the hard disk is off. I just wanted to boot after, what did it take? Two minutes or something like that. I just wanted to boot to workbench and from there, And from there, I just want to check this card does the RAM expansion on, you know, 2 MB uh, fast RAM, if it works or not. I mean, this hard disk, it did spin, but um, the pins on this ribbon cable are uh, down here. I just pulled it too hard. They're, they're off, so that was the reason. Why did the screen show? It should just load, guys. install what workbench <laughs> okay that's off nope Man. Now we have no keyboard, but we can install the joystick and control everything that way if the joystick works or the joystick port works. Workbench disk one install. Just reboot, alright. Let's see what's gonna happen. We're just gonna wait. Now it's on. It's irritating that it takes two minutes to boot this way, but it is, of course, it's searching for the scarcity drive, so it is what it is. I just wanna check the RAM, guys. That's just, uh, that could be great. The other card, this, um, this other card that was included, this one, it's not a, you know, two serial ports. What did they use that for back then? Yeah. Looks clean. No! <laughs> Why it was... It won't read, I don't know why. So when we combine this, it was on, you know, 001 uh, install disk. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know why. <laughs> That's because it's Workbench 3.1 and we need 1.3. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh my God, I mean, rookie mistake, man. What the hell? Now, it's, yeah, now it says workbench 1.33 because last time I used it in my Mingo 4000, that's why, guys, <sighs> rookie mistake. All right, now the go check, um, it should load and I really, really hope that it says, you know, three megabytes of RAM. Um, let's just give it a go. Just, just wait, you know, two minutes, guys. Um, bear with me. <laughs> I'm happy. I just, <laughs> yeah. All right, come on. Oh my goodness, this live video is not a problem. Thanks, Phil. 65 minutes long video, guys. What the hell? <laughs> nice. There we go. It start loading now. Come on, give me the juicy three megabytes of RAM. I will be so happy. It's loading. Mega 2000 workbench disk. 
1.3.3. Come on, crossing our fingers. It's 1987. It's working. It's working. Come on, 3 megabyte man. I hope you're all excited as I am. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Look at the blinking lights on the GoTech. It's really struggling. It emulates, you know, the same speed and everything as the uh, as the disk drive. So that's just beautiful. There we go. Oh my sweetness. Three megabytes of RAM. Beautiful. Beautiful, I'm just so happy. Look at the top, guys. Beautiful, GVP. This is, I'm so happy. I just wanna say, thank you for watching. Thank you for your help. Thank you for the support. I will upload this video so we will have it on YouTube, guys. I mean, this was my first, you know, live video like this and uh, Oh, this this has been fun. I mean, and, and and you know, next time because I want to do this, and next time it's going to be something so I can see what you're writing and all that because this is fun. This is fun to interact with you guys and you know check out our old beloved hobby Amiga and stuff like that. So this is just this is great. So I want to say three makes a frame. Thank you for watching guys. I'm just gonna go ahead. If you guys didn't start by watching this video, look at this Vata area. Isn't that just beautiful? I just got this one. Good show. Thanks, happy sir. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. This is just great. And this is not the last time I'm doing something like this. This has been a beautiful experience and I really hope you all you guys enjoyed it. So until next time, Go ahead, check out some of my other videos, guys. Have a great day out there. Retro Django, out.